babies first, shoot them up. Yeah. It's funny, I've never really heard of it before, but that's quite fun. This is... This is too much for me. You, bud. Uh, Two freaking months. Uh, give them a tr give one a try. One point you probably get used to. It. You can get ones like um, what is it, Raiden Four, where you play as a spaceship and go well, on a spaceship when you're crafted. Enjoy some bullet hell. I was trying to stream that before, but it didn't work great. Don't remember why, but yeah. Oh. So, going to end the stream so you can go get some sleep. Or what? Yeah, I think that was enough streaming for Wednesdays, especially since this game was just <laughs> like I'm still not fully comprehending what the hell just happened. But yeah, the Metal Slug is like more to my taste in games compared to what we normally play. How you guys are always wanting to play a Civ or like a first person shooter, I like to play games like this. Well, considering that most multiplayer games are basically either shooting people in the face or strategy. Yeah, we shot lots of people in the face. Like I'd love to play some racing games or some 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 yeah. some crafting or adventure games, but apparently none of you have the ones that I have, and I don't have the ones that you have. I do have one racing game thing that I really want to play, but it's not got online mode added yet. It's called Road Redemption. I got it ages ago. It looks like it would be. I've not actually played it myself, but. It looks like it would be like Road Rash if you ever played yeah, that. I've seen yeah. videos of Road Redemption. Yeah, so I, I wanted to get online mode so we can like play that, but the last updated in September and uh, multiplayer alpha was in July, so I have no idea when it's actually coming. Yeah, well. <laughs> We we just need more games. That's basically it. Like a yeah. lot of games that none of us own, or just one of us owns, and yeah, the choice is limited. Like no. to shooting uh, people in the face and or strategizing. Well, yeah, my biggest issue with that really is I own like about eight hundred games, but about seven hundred are on consoles. And then I use have consoles, so that's like most of my games eliminated right after that. Where's this game? Nobody got the game. What game? Rise of the Tomb Raider. None. Um, I have, a, I have like Tomb Raider and the Warrior of Light Light on PlayStation Three, but I don't have it on PC. I have Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider, and I haven't finished Tomb Raider. I need to replay that entirely. But I, I had, I still have Rise of the Tomb Raider to play, and they recently added the scavenger mode, like a survival game mode co-op. I've never really liked Tomb Raider. I, I'm ninety percent sure I played um, a demo for Tomb Raider where you ran about a cave and there was like some wolves and some. More than I played any other Tomb Raider game, even though I rented a couple of them. You mean the the latest Tomb Raider or no, no the Tomb original Raider? old classic Tomb Raider oh. with like triangle tits and oh boy, better look human. No, I I suggest that you try out the newest Tomb Raider. No, I, I've just heard that they basically just copy Uncharted now. And I don't even like Uncharted. No, it's actually less Uncharted. I never played Uncharted, so I can can't really tell. But I like Tomb Raider. Like the character, 
is cool, the mechanics they have is, are cool. It's a good game, actually, compared to what, what the last game was, the Angel of Darkness, before the reboot happened, and Underworld, and all the things that were also good, but before that, it was still okay. Just that Tomb Raider is just so good. And I'm looking forward to playing Rise of the Tomb Raider once I finish Tomb Raider. Uh, I just never got into them. Might have to stream that. There's so many games that I want to stream. Like Tomb Raider, there's Assassin's Creed, Syndicate that I've never finished, Black Flag that I've never finished. But I finished all the Assassin's Creed and basically like 100 percent in them all. Like once Dishonored, again, haven't finished it. I like to 100% complete games. Like especially Tomb Raider or Assassin's Creed. Every every game where you can yeah. find little tidbits of history and stuff, I want to complete it. Yeah, that's one of the best things about Assassin's Creed, that they've always got these things set up now, that if you've played the older games, you get benefits in the new ones, which I would really like. Like I've played Assassin's Creed Unity... The main game, I finished it to 100% except the missions. Like the missions, I'm, I am d- didn't replay the missions to get 3 stars. But what yeah, I right. didn't do is uh, the DLC. I started the DLC, but then I f- was like, nope, DLC is crap. And then I switched to Syndicate and Syndicate is great. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to decide if I should like grind for a few days so I can hundred percent um Atelier or Atelier, however it's pronounced, Sophie, or if I should move on to World of Final Fantasy, which I really want to play, but just kind of decide. Fighting games? I only have one legit fighting game, which is Injustice Gods Among Us, and the other. Le- Fighting game I have is sadly. You said I... that it was that are alive. Yeah, I got it through dubious means on the internet because was... because the version on PC is incredibly freaking shit. Yeah, that's why I always say you should get consoles, but he's always just going no. Nah. Even though most PC ports of console games are out of shape. No. They are improving. It's just that the the developers of Dead or Alive, who are they? Team Ninja, are just shit and porting. Like, they they could have ported the game alright, but they did... Well, it's not just them. It's most companies who do it. Because, like, every time I play a really fun game on the console and I want to play it with people who only have PCs, I go to look at the game and all I ever see is shit port. So then that's basically that out the window. What the hell is this? Play Dead or Alive last round core fighters. What is that? Uh, that's a free version What was out on consoles a while ago. I don't know what it said that, so it's on the chat. But yeah, Core Fighters was just a DLC thing where you had to like unlock or buy the characters and stuff. So to buy the full game, you have the ability to buy separate parts of the full game instead of just the full game. Yeah, yeah. And considering that I just saw how many DLCs they have in Oh they have Jesus. Yeah they have Fucking they've got like Christ. a grand they've got like a grand worth of DLC now. And they've also got DLC that you can only get if you buy all the DLC in a pack. So it's like some of the most it's probably the most expensive DLC you can get now. I believe it was a caution for uh Mary Rose. It's an expensive shit of. Yeah, each costume is like three pound. Oh, it's I'm not talking a... about the individual costumes. I'm talking about oh. the full sets. 
Like they have oh, full yeah. sets of sixty bucks and shit. Yeah, they bring it. It's a real shame because like in Do DOA two and stuff. They gave you like twenty costumes, and they weren't they just like recolors. You just the more you played with the character, the more you unlocked, and they were pretty good costumes. And because costumes are just something for fun, it just adds a little extra. It's not worth like getting a full, paying it <gasps> forty pound a month for That's all the so costumes. Freaking expensive. Considering that uh, the game is is really crappy port it crappily ported on, on on PC. I I I will keep that version that I got and I will look for the DLC on the same dubious means to play it. I I will not spend one thousand dollars or how much it costs probably. Will probably it will probably be as much to buy costume DLC. This is reaching levels of the train simulator. This oh, is no. literally reaching. The most famous bad DLC is probably still the horse armor, but it was like fifteen pound and it did nothing. It just added a little bit of armor to your horse appearance wise for I believe it was Oblivion. Okay, yeah, I had. Was it a Was it for Elder Scrolls? Or was it for uh, World of Warcraft? Uh, no, it was definitely for the Elder Scrolls. I'm just not uh, sure what one it was. I think it was Oblivion, but I'm not 100 percent on that. They have the same costume, three costumes. Like it's six costumes, but it's just three and recolored. Once again, for fourteen euros. I'm guessing it's probably the made outfit. It's six costumes. But these six costumes are basically three times. It's basically one recolor and one normal thing. Yeah, but I'm about to send you a link to another game. It was... Like a game that I've got on PlayStation 4 and when I was playing it I was really fucking enjoying it. It's basically like Monster Hunter except it's Yokai. But once again it's a game that was great on console but it's got a shit PC port. Uh recent is very positive. I'm not sure if yeah. they next yeah. maybe. But even if they did they're still charging fifty pounds uh... for it. Was this this was 26th of June 2015 no I need recent yeah. ones that's another thing about PC games like people seem to think that PC games are actually cheaper but they're fucking not they're actually more expensive than console games but it's just that Steam do so many sales now it feels like stuff's cheaper but no the games are cheaper because the games reduce in price. You don't see no, they don't. console games on their websites be reduced. Yeah, not on their websites, but few, physical copies you, have you a do. You few companies that do this shit, like Call of Duty is the perfect example of it. If you look for the oldest Call of Duty, let me check. Call of Duty 1. Yeah, but it's well, still digital... 20 pounds. It's still 20 euros. The first one, the very yeah, first but, one from 23. Yeah, but its original price was like £40. And the, if you go for a physical copy of that now, you'll probably get it for like £2 or a fiver at the most. But like, check, take this Tokuden Kiwami that I'm talking about. That's currently £50 on Steam. It's been out for over a year. And when it was released on PS4, it was only £40. And then it's done it like you could probably get it for a five or no. Here. The first Call of Duty is tw twenty Euros. The Medal of Honor Airborne game, the last World War Two game of the Medal of Honor series, is ten Euros. And that one is from two thousand seven. 
what is this meant to be? Steam prices or? Yes, Steam prices. Like, Call of Duty games are all, the old ones are all 20 bucks. Call of Duty 1, 20. Call of Duty United Offensive, 20. Call of Duty 2, 20. Yeah, but you have got... Rising Storm, which is an amazing game at seventeen ninety nine, and it but was released. Got... When was it released? It was released really like twenty thirteen. But if you got outside. any of those games on consoles, they would be even cheaper. But Steam just gives you the impression that PC games are cheaper because they do so many sales. But the the games also get cheaper over time. Yeah, they do that on. Other stores do it, like digital on, platforms. On physical pla not on, on platforms, not on internet yeah. platforms. The physical like copies go... have the best prices of any games because they go cheaper a lot quicker because stores need to get up, uh, free up some shelf space. It's that and you don't want to sell like stuff that is, that's already been used. Yeah, but at the same time, who buys physical PC games anymore? Like, the only ones I have are Diablo 2, Warcraft 3, and Starcraft. Those are, like, the only physical PC games I have. And they're all, like, what, over 15 years old now? Maybe closer yeah, to 20? I still have a few. The, the most recent one I bought was GTA 5. But yeah, there are was... a few reasons to buy the physical copies of games mostly for collection collector's editions and no i'm not saying like it's that. not bad to do them it's just that for pc games you normally buy digital and the digital prices rarely go down at all except during sales no they also go down normally yeah but uh, like the sales slower. During sales, they go down even further, but they already go down. Like, if you look at Batman Arkham Knight, which was released last year. Mm -hmm. uh, where's Arkham Knight? It's 30, 30 euros now. Yeah, but and this is what I'm saying. released a year ago. If a Steam game goes down from, like, 40 to 30, by the time it goes down to 30, on all the consoles, the game would have been down to, like, 20 months before that. And the physical copy would be selling for like a fiver and a bargain yeah. bin. Let me check Amazon. How much does Batman Arkham Knight cost on Amazon? Um, that's dollars. I shouldn't be looking at dollars. I should be looking at euros since I'm referring to euros. Uh, it's PlayStation 4, fifteen ninety nine. dollars uh, Xbox One. I'm checking it now. Batman Arkham Knight, PlayStation 4, is £12.85. Uh, depends what version that is. They have yeah. uh, Game of the Year edition. What's the Steam version? Is that the Game of the Year edition? No, I think it's the normal one. Uh... I don't know actually. Like, there's the Batman Arkham Knight Premium Edition and the normal Arkham Knight. I'm not sure if that's the Game of the Year Edition. Um, no, the Game of the Year Edition has normally got all the DLC, or it's meant to, but it doesn't always anymore. But yeah, I'm looking at the shop I used to buy my games, and which does it, can, does it include all DLC or just a few DLC? Uh, it depends on each company. Like some game of the years don't even have all the DLC anymore, and it's more of a re-release. But yeah, Batman Arkham Knight on PlayStation Four is twelve pound eighty five. Same on Xbox One, and there's another version that's thirty pound for some reason. I do not know why. And Batman Arkham Knight Season Pass is thirty two ninety nine. There are a lot of posters of. Of Harley Quinn. Yeah, she was um, giving away day one DLC, so you could only use her if you got the day one DLC or something. I think you can buy it now. Let me check Steam. But, um, like, yeah, you said on Steam. Yep, Harley Quinn story pack, it's two euros. Yeah, you said on Steam, Batman Arkham Knight is £30. This is showing that it's £12 for consoles. 
So well, that's just well. What I'm once saying. it goes on sale, it will be. Yeah, but this as an this as an on sale. This is just the price it is now. Well, you won't be buying the game now if you know yeah. they have the sale. Like Steam user conditioned to only buy during sales. Well, that that's the thing. What I'm talking about, Steam. PC games have the worst prices, but because there's so many sales, people think it's the cheaper version. But right now, Batman Arkham Knight is £30 on Steam, while on consoles it's twelve eighty five. Then when Steam actually puts it on sale, it'll go down to like £15 and it'll look like a huge deal, even though it's still more expensive than if you got it on console. Jesus, is Assassin's Creed 1 really this expensive? Yeah, probably because it was a title that didn't get much fanfare, I believe, and well, it did build the franchise, like, two is when it really started being known as a good series, so there's probably not that many copies of one. So less copies means more money. Jesus. Uh, yeah, Batman Arkham Knight is on my list. The, the game that I would probably buy as a, a physical edition would be The Witcher. That would be the next game I would buy on a, on a physical edition because it has a map and it has the soundtrack and a few other things that are really cool and I like these things. I like maps. I like all these things that are added. I got The Witcher 3 but I just could not get into it. And it kept making references to Witcher 1 and 2 but I did not get because I've never played them. So I got myself Witcher 1 and 2 just so I could find out and maybe enjoy 3 but I've never got around to playing it. <laughs> I've played a bit of Witcher 2 but then stuff got in the way and I've never really got very far so I have to finish that and then I can go to Witcher 3 but Witcher 3 is on my buy list <gasps> yeah my copy is just collecting dust somewhere like there are a bunch of games that I still need to play like I downloaded Dishonored because I wanted to play it and uh, haven't even touched it yet. And today I wondered, hmm, should I download Skyrim again and play? <gasps> Probably not going to do that. Yeah, I've never played Skyrim. I had Oblivion and it was alright, but it was not so great that I would want to buy more Elder Scrolls. Well, the thing is, if I start playing Skyrim, I know for a fact that it, I will not finish it. I will play until a certain point, and then I'm going to stop and do something else. Then I'm probably going to deinstall, uninstall Skyrim. Or I will just keep it, and then one day I will be like, hmm, let's play Skyrim again. Load up the save game, be in some random cave having no clue what the hell I was doing and just restarting from fresh and the whole proceeding repeats yeah I just didn't enjoy it enough to do that but I really do hate when that happens in games I've, I always mean to like write down what I was doing in the game so that if I ever pick it back up I know what I was doing, but I never remember, so normally if I like, stop playing a game, start again, I've just got to start from the beginning. Makes it so much easier. <laughs> it is easier because you remember stuff, but Skyrim is one of the games that you, you start with a character, then you do stuff, then you're like, ah, uh, now I've played too much, I need a break. Then you play other games, and these other games take your time up, and then... You remember, hmm, there was Skyrim, let's play Skyrim, and then nothing happened. And you start from fresh, and everything goes the same way. Okay. Yeah. 
Ooh. We are getting tired. Um, but yeah, I keep saying that we should uh, make a list of games for us all to get when the sale comes along, but nobody seems up for it. Like one game I really want to do is um, Earth Defense Force, where you fight like giant ants and bugs and Godzilla type monsters. Yeah, we probably need a, a list of games that we might buy if they are on sale. Yeah, I say Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of a New Despair. I'll link you to the other side. Um, I've been told it's four player and it's just, you get like jetpacks and rocket launchers and you've just got to fight all the monsters. And it's like a B movie where it's all these silly like giant bugs and stuff. I just think it looks like great fun if we're playing multiplayer. And loading Earth Defense 4. So it's like you could be fighting giant ants, then giant robots, then giant spiders, then a big Godzilla looking fucker. Uh, uh, I'm not a fan of that. Then Jesus giant Christ. Wasps. Jesus Christ. Nope. 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 That's way too weird. That is way too freaking weird. What's weird about that? What is <laughs> weird about that? Yeah. Bless you. Not it... a cough. <laughs> That was a sneeze. Is that cool? That was clearly a sneeze. <clears throat> it was a cough. Uh, Have you never seen like a B movie, no? No. That's basically what EDF is. Giant ant, ants getting radiated and start destroying the city, so you're sent in to shoot all the ants. That's just ridiculous. That is just so ridiculous. No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. That looks so no. fucking amazing. No. You get to fight giant robots with an even giant or robot. No. What is not to enjoy? That is ridiculous. I, I just don't like that. i just not a fan of that. Not a fan. You're not a fan of fun? I no, I despise fun. And I still right. think I still think we should all play it. Ah, but let's see, what other stuff in my wish list? I've got Metal Slug X, um let's see what one of the multiplayer. Had damned, but I heard that that's been pretty much abandoned by the developers, so it's pretty dead and not getting any updates. There's Rivals of Afar, what I believe is a Smash Brothers clone, where you use little animal dudes instead. That could be pretty fun. Uh, Super <coughs> Sky Arena, I'm not sure if it's got online multiplayer, or if it's just... Yeah, it's just split, split screen, but who knows. Uh... I think that's about it. Uh, there's the catch me game, but that's not really play with the same people. It's more yeah. of a random online thing. I'll probably end the stream since nothing important is being talked about, and I'll probably have to. <laughs> I didn't even know you still had it up. <laughs> 